Hey guys, it's Pilot Bambi and my dad is here today. How are you, dad? Yeah, good. I'm ready. The plane is uh, all filled up and we're ready to go. Well, actually, nobody knows what we're going to do yet today, but oh. we are at Hilversum Airports, our local airstrip, and uh, today we've got a pretty cool plan. So, um, my dad's flying Maurits and I to Lelystad Airport, and from there we'll be joining Giel and Steph from base to final, and uh, they'll be flying us to Midden-Zeeland Airport. Nothing like an 8 a.m. tea in a beer glass. I've got the iPad with Sky Demon, and I'm gonna quickly show you the routing. So of course the route starts at Hilversum, and uh, have you seen what runway is in use yet? Yeah, three one left. All right, cool. So we will be heading out towards the west, and we'll leave the circuit right over there and continue over Hilversum. Uh, towards the Pampus VOR, and then we'll stay west of Almeida Stadt and uh, just outside of this um, bird area. But we'll be climbing to 1500 feet because that's the altitude that we have to be at for the mic arrival. We'll call up to enter the CTR over there, head south, and uh, they'll tell us which one runway is in use. So um, basically, not much more. I think we'll be ha having to fly over X ray and then uh, come in to land. Great. We checked the NOTAMs yesterday. I felt you felt the flight plan and checked the NOTAMs. And um, the NOTAMs said something about a restricted area today because they are setting things on fire or... Yeah, the, the, it wasn't a NOTAM as a rocket launch. <laughs> and then uh, in, in smaller letters it said that there's some fireworks uh, going on. Uh, and they reserved it from yeah basically all day. So I'm not sure what's going to happen in Almere today. So maybe we'll see a rocket launch. We don't know. How are you feeling? A little hay feverish. But, but uh, sort of shining. And I'm very excited for the planes we're going to be flying in. So we're going to be picked up by a Beechcraft Bonanza. And a really modern one, one from 2010. So it's going to be really cool to see how, how it flies and see what the hype's all about. Yeah, but first, the 172. Yeah, so we got 22 uh, gallons of fuel, uh, uh, 11 in each wing, and that is more than enough for the small trip that we're gonna do because we're gonna fly to Lelystad, which is 25 minutes of flight. So all in all, I will be flying 15 minutes and we've got plenty of fuel. Hilversum Radio, goedemorgen. Papatel, Delta, Oscar de Weber, ready check. Delta, Oscar de Weber, Hilversum, read you loud and clear, go ahead. Hey Mike, read you loud and clear, Papatel Delta, Oscar de Weber, taxi on runway 313 POB for a flight to Lelystad. En Roosje, ja, dat is helemaal begrepen. 3-1, linksom. 3-1, linksom, dank je, Delta, Oscar de Weber. Ja, good go. Ja. Ja. Good morning, Papadel Delta, Oscar November. Oscar November, good morning. Good Delta, Oscar November, 3PB approaching from the northwest. Uh, information Lima, request to enter your CTR via mic. Oscar November, got your mic arrival for a mate 23. Mike is uh, correction, Lima is correct. Thank you, NH1027. UNH1027 uh, for mic arrival, runway 23. We'll call you at mic. Delta, Oscar November. The wind is 270 degrees, 4 knots, clear to land, I'm Thank you, clear to land, Delta Oscar Woo, there we are. Oscar November, taxi to Delta. Thank you, Share 3, taxi to Delta, thank you. Bob, Oscar November. This is a pretty nice circuit. So this is what we've flown. Beautiful. Five star Uber taxi rating. Get off the lift. Yeah. Super Thank nice. you for the lift, Dad. Yeah, it was my pleasure. See you. Uh, so coming back now. 
after the weekend. See you then. Now we sit and we wait. For our next Uber to pick us up. Now we're for Uber Black. <laughs> Hey! Your Uber has arrived! <laughs> so I'd like to introduce you guys all to Gil. And Gil just arrived here with this awesome G36 Bonanza. So tell me a bit about yourself. So yeah, um, I'm Gil and I come from Belgium. Uh, I invited Pilot Bambi to come uh, to, uh, to Middle Zealand because they're celebrating their 50th and 50, 51st birthday uh, today. But due to Corona, they couldn't celebrate last year, so they want to make a big event today. Um, I tried inviting as much as as much airplane as possible, but uh, we'll see how the turnout gets. I came from Kortrijk, about an hour flight to Lelystad, and uh, now we're gonna hop in uh, the Bonanza and go to uh, Middle Zealand. Are you ready for it? Yeah, I am. And a uh, quick note: Giel has an awesome YouTube channel called Base to Final, but we'll tell you more about that in flight. So uh, let's go. Yep. VIP. The boss is going to be flown around. And we're going to six Auto Bravo request taxi. And six Auto Bravo taxi, we're going to three Sierra One. We're going to three Sierra One, we're going to Bravo. We're going to six Auto Bravo, Sierra One is ready for departure. We're going to Bravo, Bravo departure, we're going to three get for takeoff, the wind is calm. Bravo departure, we're going to three get for takeoff, we're going to Bravo. Okay, so we're going to rotate at 70, between 75 and 80 knots. Okay, cool. All right, your controls. Controls. Approach is clear. Landing light on, taxi light off, strobe nav on. Motor up. Mixture full ridge. And wind is calm, so that's yes. nice. Zero. Get it lined up nicely. And everyone ready? Yep. yep. Okay, manifold checked, RPM is checked, fuel flow is stable, airspeed is alive. Cool. Rotate at... 75, 75, 80-ish between. Okay. Ooh. Still want to fly. Yeah, I'm going to fly a little. Do you have a rudder trip? I do not. Okay, work my speed. Alright, but I see that power coming up and. We got no more run available. Post the brake. Gear up. So we climb at about 100 knots. Okay, bring the nose down slightly to the 100. Wow. What a performance. Awesome. Goes fast. Yeah. Let her let it level off. What shall I do with the manifold? Bring it down. Uh, so usually what I do is I fly wide open throttle, yeah. and I, I fly lean of peak. So I'll, I'll take over for a second to power. I go back to full power. Information whiskey. Bring the RPMs back to 2300 RPM. So I lean it out to about 15 gallons an hour, which should be lean of peak for me. When we're flying at this power setting, this is usually our cruise setting. So if you want to go slower, you can of course use the manifold. But this is our cruise setting. But if you want to go slower, I don't want to go slow at all. Okay, there we go. Full fast. Full power. We can just continue with 160, is that? We can. Oh, woo! Depending on how turbulent it gets. Because yeah, now we're going to get into the yellow band. Uh, yeah, you could really feel that bumpy layer, and now yeah. it's a lot smoother. I flew here on, on the way here to at 3,000 feet, and it was butter smooth. <laughs> it was fantastic. Doing 160 true air at the moment. What's our ground speed? Can I, where can I see? Uh, 159, because we have a slight headwind. As lots of people know, I've really thoroughly enjoyed my YouTube adventure and like the whole journey of it. And you're making some really, really sick videos as well. So how did you get into that? Well, mainly because of other uh, content creators. Uh, and you being one of the very few European content creators in aviation, I figured I just joined, because why not? It's just fun. I like flying and I like but sharing I really my like adventures. You because um, now we come a little piece of, uh, I started off with my Instagram account, to, uh, but that later in, evolved into the YouTube channel as well. Uh, my dad and I, we purchased a, uh, a wrecked Cessna 210, and that got us thinking that maybe we should just document the whole process of getting it back in an airworthy condition 
Um, that's that's mainly how we started the YouTube channel. So it started because of the 210. But of course, I don't only want to. I, I not only want to share videos on the 210. I also want to share flying videos because I really want to promote general aviation in Europe because it's such an an amazing hobby to have. It's also such a tight knit community. There's not a lot of communities that just say like, okay. Let's meet up somewhere, we'll go somewhere, we'll go fly together. <laughs> That's so much fun to do. Yeah, this is the first time we've met, so yeah. like, it's it's really cool how that works. And um, exactly like you say, I think I really am so proud that I get to promote general aviation here in Europe. You open opportunities to people that have never been in touch with aviation before. And I think that's the whole part of it. Like you also share your adventures and people can be uh, couch pilots as well. <laughs> exactly. And you don't have to have a Bonanza to, to join the GA world. You can perfectly go, for example, I just saw a glider fly by. Gliders, they fly, that's general aviation for me. You have the new ULMs, uh, those are cheap as well. Well, at least cheaper. Um, they burn significantly less than what we burn in a Bonanza. Um, <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's all sorts of, of ways of getting into aviation. Um, have you ever flown in a glider before? I have not. I really want to do it. Then I, we'll have to make a deal that you make do your flight to Hilversum. Okay. And then you can go for a spin with Mauritz, huh? Okay, yeah, of course. Deal. Uh, I've told many people before I really want to do it, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely do it at one point. I recently obtained my uh, tail dragger license, and I flew with the uh, Viper Super Cup. Yeah, I saw and it. It's, <laughs> That is also one of the things that I enjoy about aviation so much. It's, it's a, I think the aircraft that I flew was, I want to say, 55 years old or something like that. So it's the bare minimum in there, but it just flies, and it flies magnificent. Something about low and slow, being able to open the window. Oh, I love it. Awesome. I got checked out on the Super Cup two weeks ago as well. Fun, right? So uh, we'll have to do a little Super Cup trip or something. I agree. How do you find flying in Holland? Because you are very uh, knowledgeable of the Belgian airspace. It's, um, it's close to the Belgian airspace in the sense that is. Um, can I swear on your channel? Uh, yeah. It's a cluster. <laughs> it really is. That's why us Dutchies don't like flying in Belgium. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, I know. It's vice versa. Uh, you guys think that of Holland as well? Uh, I really had to dig in what airspaces I'm going to fly in and which one uh, I really want to avoid. Honestly, I think Belgium is easier than Holland or Netherlands. Oh, I think that's a debate that uh, a lot of people would like to have. <laughs> I know, but the thing is, if you fly in your airspace, the amount of time that I did already, you get to know it by heart. You already know, okay, I'm, I'm right here and I know that, that at the altitude I'm going to be at uh, Class Charlie of, of Brussels, for example. I don't even need to look at my iPad or my phone anymore to know exactly. where I'm at. Which is the same for you, I guess, when you're flying in Holland. You, you, yeah. I'm pretty sure you know where we're going and what we have to avoid. Yeah. But for me, it's it's it takes some planning to come to Lelystad. The same way it would take some planning for you to come to Kostik, I guess. Yeah. No, I, uh, you really see that when you do the ferry flights or like cross-country flights because you've been in other European countries yeah. as well. When we went to Norway on our um, on the ferry flights, it takes a lot of planning, and then you come there, and you're like, oh wait, it's actually not that different and not that difficult. The, the biggest issue we have being in the Netherlands and in Belgium is that we have a very small country. Well, Belgium is smaller than the Netherlands, but <laughs> we got small countries. We got small countries in general, and we got some big airports in, the, in that small country. We, for example, have four big airports in Belgium. We have Ostend, we have Brussels, we have uh, Liège, and we have Charleroi. So those are four big ones, and then we, we still have uh, Antwerp, for example. There's a lot of controlled airspace in a very tight package. Yep. Thankfully, though, with the current uh, technologies we have, for example, we have the G1000, we have the four flight, uh, iDemon, Sky Demon. It makes it a lot easier, but it still takes some planning, of course. But it's already much, much easier. I wouldn't want to, and that's kind of the contrast. Traffic, 12 o'clock, same altitude, two miles. X-ray, goedemorgen. Not, yeah, okay, visual. Have you got a visual? Yeah, right above the haze. All right, are we going to... I gonna think he's... Yeah, let's go, that was right. Perfect. I hope he sees us. I don't think I he think does. He, uh, I think he... Uh, he probably doesn't, actually. Okay, he's like... Visco hotel calling. Hi. 
But there's also an advantage of all this new technology. Exactly. I think if we wouldn't have had the G1000 telling us of traffic, I would have seen it. And that would have been a very close call. Rotterdam approach, good morning. November 936, Hotel Bravo. Number 936, Hotel Bravo, V4 traffic, 12 o'clock, range about 1 mile, indicating 1,300 feet and verified, seems to be moving to the northwest. Copy the traffic, you will have a sharp lookout. Uh, so, November 96, Hotel Bravo, the beach 36, V4 flight from Echo Hotel Lima, Echo to Echo Hotel Mike Zulu, currently 3,000 feet, request to transition through your airspace at 3,000 feet. November Hotel Bravo, that's approved, Rotterdam QH is 1028. 3,000 feet approved, QNH 1028, November Hotel Bravo. Yeah, alright, so there we have the Zeelandsbrug. Okay. And behind it you have the Neeltje Jans. Look. Look there? Neeltje Jans. It's like the bridge thing, I don't know. But this area is so beautiful. I'm at the Zeeland Radio, hello, goedemiddag. November 936, Hotel Bravo. November 9 is Vistig Hotel Bravo met de Zeeland een hele goede morgen. Wie heeft hier een Runway 27, right hand circuit? Runway 27 met right hand circuit, we'll call entering uh, right, uh, right down with November 9 is Vistig Hotel Bravo. <laughs> Caution, terrain. Caution, terrain. Yes, yes, we know. So gear warning. Going off way too soon, but okay. Ding hier is de Haringvreter, this island. Wow, I sound like such a weirdo that I know. Haringvreter. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> the Haringvreter, so eh. Uh, it's always a good point if you want to yeah. look for the, it's just left of it. And of a blind, Hotel Bravo is joining, uh, right down at runway 27, full stop. Okay, gear down, flaps approach. It'll show us how it's done. I'm gonna try. We spotted your landing at Lady Salt and it was really nice. It was okay. <laughs> wow, well, it looked... It was good. <laughs> it looked I was like happy. <laughs> I knew I was gonna be on film, so I had to do a good landing. <laughs> And approach is free. Okay. Rapport of Alice, final runway 27, full top. Okay, flaps down, max flip, full edge. Forward, gear down, three greens, flap is off. En dan zijn we het hotel Bravo, welkom in Zeeland. U kan verkeerd door de mee toedraaien en dan volgen de follow me call for parking. Toedraaien, follow, follow me. Nou, ga maar het op Bravo. Goedemiddag hier, Rotje. Laat maar al je lopen. <laughs> Well, <laughs> all right, well that was super cool. We're back at the plane, had an awesome lunch, and I just want to thank you one more time for this awesome experience. You're very, very welcome. It was a lot of fun meeting you. Yeah, was, likewise. And especially during this event, it was a, a perfect opportunity to get to know each other. And I certainly hope we're going to do more of these events uh, together and maybe go on trips together. It would be a lot of fun. Yeah, 100%. So yeah. You're heading back? That's it for us, I guess. Um, I'm going to go back to Kortrijk now. I'm gonna proceed along the coastline, have some fun sightseeing because I'm all on, all by my own this time and uh, go back to Kortrijk. Yeah, super cool. Well, if anybody wants to see more of Giel, which I'm sure a lot of people do want to see more of your flying content and the 210 content, please subscribe to uh, Base to Final and maybe to Pilot Bambi as well. But uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.